Hi, your box is here with Ari from Iceland. Hi, how are you? I'm great, and you? I'm just amazing. <laughs> And today you had your second uh, rehearsal. Yeah. Has, has there been changes from your first rehearsal? Yeah, we did uh, some slight changes mm -hmm. and just the act is just developing at such a good rate and everything's just up and up. It was amazing and the power that you get from being on that stage is... Uh, I get really empowered just, and uh, I really felt now more comfortable than on the first rehearsal mm -hmm. uh, and, and yeah. Just, I can't wait to be on that on Tuesday. Nice, you have this really high note in your song. Yeah. How do you manage to hit it all the time? Uh, <laughs> do you have to press your diaphragm really, really strong? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it, we've been going through uh, several techniques. Uh, and uh, I think, yeah, it's just, it's just practice, really. Just practice, practice, and, uh, and try to develop your technique. And, and it's a... It's a talent, but 90% of it is just practice. Mm -hmm. And you're happy with the colors of the stage, the, your outfit, everything? Yeah, well, I haven't seen the uh, the exact colors. I haven't been into the viewing room. I don't, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like, I, I hate seeing myself on, t on the screen. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm a really, really, uh, I, I really love the, the outfits that we got. Mm -hmm. We got a really good stylist, Eir Thrastadotir. Uh, that, w that was working with us and uh, I'm really grateful for that and uh, I'm just really grateful for how this act is developing into this uh, into this powerful ballad with this message and I can't I, I just can't wait <laughs> so how much of the staging has been your idea or how much uh, power of decision have you had well uh, I haven't well I've been in the discussions mm -hmm. uh, and I've been of course they have to run it by me if, it, if, it, if it's a right or something like that but actually all this uh, goes to our director Arnur and our songwriter Thorin yeah and then, yeah it's uh, Arnur thank you yeah 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 and that uh, is uh, <laughs> it's, uh, both both directors Arnur uh, which is with us and, and Thorin which is mm -hmm. the songwriter and backing will listen to the song <laughs> Nice. So uh, when we interviewed you in uh, London, you told yeah. us a crazy story that happened in Spain. Yeah. I'm from Spain. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you from? Valencia. Valencia. Oh, yeah. 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 And you actually know a Spanish song that you were singing to Alfred and Amaya in the yeah. bus about Granada? Granada. Yeah. I always wanted to go to Granada and Valencia as well because uh, I've been to Spain uh, many times just on vacation. And uh, we always go to these tourist places like uh, Alicante, Tenerife, Llor de Mar. Mm. And I really want to be in the culture like Barcelona, Madrid, uh, Granada, Valencia, you know, uh, to see it. I have to go again. Yeah, you're invited, you're more than welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what's your crazy story this time that you have to tell us? All right, so it's... it's uh, did I tell you the, the story about when I went skydiving? Did it? No. no. So... Well, last summer, I think it was, uh, uh, it's going to be a year since I jumped. So I went skydiving in Bulgaria. Ooh. And uh, we were at a tourist place called Sunny Beach. And uh, it, was, it was really fun. And before we went into this trip, uh, there was an option if you could go skydiving. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to go skydiving. It's a huge choice that I was going to make because I had, yeah, <laughs> I had to choose between uh, uh, because it was like before you go on the trip you have to choose if you're going to go on go skydiving mm -hmm. for one day and uh, and if you're going to leave it yeah. and me and my friends we chose to go skydiving and uh, when we got there the plane that we were in uh, that was the worst thing and and that plane was not secure at all and I was it was a relief jumping from that plane because that plane was going to crash uh, I was so sure of it because when it, we got inside it was duct taped just just why well, that was like somebody said like duct oh tape. we got a crack in the windshield not oh, just duct tape it it's all right just put some duct tape on there and it was all just duct taped with uh, silver duct tape and it was it was so small it was like this big so mm -hmm. we were 
we were sitting like this, okay. going up for, for an hour, we had to climb into the atmosphere. We were 11,000 feet, and mm -hmm. when that door opens, mm -hmm. when you open that door, the noise that comes from that door, it just smashes you in the face. And, and this is the most terrifying experience that you'll get that noise, because you know that you're going to be jumping, and you're going to have to land, uh, and you're, you're going to be traveling like 250 miles an hour, no, 250 kilometers an hour, mm. and uh, and yeah, but in that second, when you when you go out, you get this, <gasps> and but and then you just oh, let go of everything, and that's the best feeling ever. So that that was the crazy story that. That I have because <laughs> and that was still less scary than to stay more minutes on that plane. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was less scary than being on that plane for just a second more because, really, I was. It was a relief just jumping out of that one because uh, when I when I when I got into the into the uh, into the plane, uh, I sat behind mm -hmm. the pilot, and so the guy that was jumping with me was like, "So you you see that mob?" Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, "Yeah, do not push it." <laughs> I was like, why? Why? Then don't say it because yeah, 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 yeah. I was <laughs> like, why? Do why? why? Why don't I? Why? 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 Why can I push it? Because if you push it, no more pilot. <laughs> so that's the that's the that's the knob to open the pilot door. And if I would just, it was just a little nudge. If I just, yeah, if I went, but just a little nudge, then the pilot would have gone. It was, it, and we would have all crashed. So every everything when how I was. Uh, how I was seated, I was just like this, just trying not to touch that, to that knob. <laughs> and uh, they were like, no, relax, relax. You're not going That's to... a great accent. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's right. Can you do I'm... accents? Yeah, I do a lot of, I do a lot oh, of them. Oh, give us a give you, us you want me to do the Spanish one? Oh, yes, please. Uh, also, okay, guys, uh, when uh, people from Spain talk a lot of Spanish, this is a really, uh, just, this is a stereotype, so I'm not I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm Spanish, I'm not offended. But <laughs> yeah. well, you have a really good accent, by the way. Thank you, I don't live in Spain. No, no. okay, <laughs> maybe that's why. But I love it. I had a friend, his name was Roberto. Uh, oh, Roberto. Uh, Roberto. And he was always saying, uh, uh, because he had Italian friends, <laughs> and it's like, Italian people, they always say, pico de gallo. It's not pico de gallo, it's pico de gallo. <laughs> And uh, it was, it was, that was like his uh, phrase, yeah. <laughs> nice! So we are asking uh, the other acts if they were not going to Eurovision with the song they're uh, representing their country with, which other song from this competition they would like to sing? Oh, okay. Uh, can I pick two? If you must. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, I would love to do the Danish song because that, was, oh. that one is like hitting the Icelandic core mm -hmm. Viking. Uh, and, I and I love it because it, it goes to the high sea and it's yeah. a really nice. Um, the air yeah, yeah, the yeah air. I, I, exactly. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and then I would love to do the Albanian song. Yeah, no, I love that one. That's a re I, uh, it's a really good song, and he's such an amazing singer, and uh, and his falsetto is like amazing and, I, and I, I love to do the falsetto so um. yeah that was what I was going to say like with the, your voice register you could probably hit all the notes too yeah 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 it's uh, uh, it, I, I, when I when I was when I came home from uh, London pre-party mm -hmm. uh, I was going over all the songs listening to and, and I heard this Albanian song and it just I immediately was like oh yes oh that's a great great song and uh, there are, there, there are so many songs mm -hmm. in this competition that I've just put on my playlist. Like, they're just genuinely good songs that I listen to. Yeah. Nice. Between you and I, did you actually try to do the falsettos already? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. <laughs> I, I, I've been doing it a, a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and do you do it right here? Pardon? Do you, do you want me to do it right here? Oh, can you? Well, all right. Is that... Dina Dante And then he goes And something like that. Wow. <laughs> Give it up for Iceland. Thank you so much. <laughs> and one last question. We love your t shirt. Where can we get one? Oh uh, you can actually buy it uh, when you come to Iceland or <laughs> probably uh, if you go to the World Cup in Russia, they're gonna be selling these t shirts. But with um, number twelve? Yeah, number twelve. 
two spoon. Mm. <laughs> yeah, two spoon. Yeah. But uh, we have to. We should have. We should have thought about bringing T-shirts to everybody. That You're still in time. You're still in yeah, time. Yeah, Just yeah. fly them to Portugal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. We will. <laughs> Well, guys, this has been everything from Eurobox and Ari. See you around and don't forget to like our video and comment what do you think about it. Bye! Thank you so much, Eurobox. <laughs>